Good day, everybody. It's Kyle back again with another episode. I believe this is episode 304 of Unlocking Your Inner Strength. Today, I'm talking about four steps for fat loss in your 40s. One of the ways that I have become the world's leading expert in fasting and in helping people change their body composition is through direct knowledge, experimentation, doing this on my own, on myself, I should say, and with hundreds and hundreds of clients, uh, thousands, you could say at this point, over the past, what, 15 years or whatnot. We have our Fat Shredder Contest coming up. What's, what's up, Dan? Good morning. We have our Fat Shredder Contest coming up mid-April. So it's April 18th, I believe it begins. This time of year, fat loss is front and center of most people's minds. With that being said, most people go about this wrong. They cut calories, they do a bunch of junk cardio, they try to play the simultaneous game of weight loss, which is to try to burn more, cut more, think they're going to lose more. They wind up burning out, they wind up messing up their body, Remember, the metabolism can raise 40% or lower 40%, and they're left frustrated. Each time they start out with high hopes and that this is going to be the time, and it just never seems to work. This is the problem with the advice from all the fake fitness experts that are everywhere. This is the problem with your typical North American diet and North American diet mentality. Last night on one of the calls, one of the lessons with Rip Dads, I was sharing with them that I set a mini fat loss goal for May 1st because we're going to be in Florida then. Just something to, to give me some focus on as far as the physical. And I haven't set a goal as far as body comp in a number of years now. It's not really that important to me, so I just got kind of a fun little challenge. The first thing I'm going to do, so here's step number one. And mind you, I'm already doing my black version of my panda. I do a 48-hour fast every week, followed by one meal a day. That's how I live. That's what I do. Sometimes on the weekends, like uh, Sunday, I had like a brunch. I did a bunch of fruit and nuts because I wanted it after church. Then I eat my, my cheat meal at night. Devin made homemade pizza. Did my Sunday, and then back on my plan. But the rest of the days... You know, I'm on, I'm on point, but that's, that's planned. So the first thing I would change, first step for fat loss in your 40s is your sleep. Are you getting enough sleep? If you're not getting enough sleep, you're, you're stepping over $100 bills to pick up pennies. You're wasting your time. If you are not getting at least seven hours of sleep a night, for 99% of people, some people can get less. But if you're not getting seven hours of sleep a night, you are wasting your time. Sleep is the best diet in the world. It's where your body composition will really change. It's where much of your hormone production, your psychological, your physical repair takes place. Hunger hormones are controlled or they're, they're run wild. That is critical. Sleep is number one. If you are not going to take that serious, don't even begin your fat loss journey. It's that important. So the first thing I'm going to change personally is the past couple of weeks, three or four weeks, have been so busy that there's a lot of nights where I'm only getting six hours of sleep a night like I used to. I could do that here and there, but I know that it's not the best thing for me. I know I need about seven to feel good and to kind of optimize my body. So sleep would be number one. Start by getting into your bedroom a little bit earlier. Start by potentially uh, having a set time that you get up right those are two real things what's up Tim that are going to impact you as far as your sleep set times at night in the morning when you get up when you get in the bedroom next thing I would talk about is stress I would figure out how to manage your stress now the mind you guys these all kind of go hand in hand if you're not getting enough sleep sleep makes or excuse me fatigue makes cowards of us all if we're not getting enough sleep stress is going to be amplified it's going to be much harder to deal with. The effects of stress are going to kind of gain momentum. And little things, making you're going to make what's called uh, 
the mountains out of molehills, okay? If you don't manage stress, and stress runs rampant, your, your stress hormones are going to be way too elevated. Things like cortisol, which is our friend, but when it becomes rampant, no good. And if cortisol is high, and then most people, that'll cause them to stress eat, especially if they're not sleeping because hunger hormones are going to be up, then that's where you, you wind up with a lot of visceral fat, something like a beer belly, just really unhealthy fat. If you can't manage your stress, fat loss is going to be much more difficult. Stress leads to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance means we are losing, a, a, the effect of insulin is not taking place. We need to produce more insulin. Insulin causes your body to store. So stress very directly, I should say, impacts your fat loss and whatnot. So how can you manage that? What are some tips and tricks? I'll do the, uh, maybe the next podcast on that. One of the things, one of the four tips I have though is a morning walk morning walk so, so walking is the only form of exercise that's going to lower your stress hormones so that's key and then starting out your morning like this morning i was out walking the hill now i was doing something a little more intense with my weight vest 80 pound weight vest and and dumbbells doing farmer's walks and curls while i'm walking i do that for about 20 minutes wake up read my bible put my vest on go but i'm talking about you can just do a regular walk 10 minutes, 20 minutes, lower stress hormones, right? It, you, and it robs the center of your brain where negative emotions arise. It ro robs that of energy. It's the same center. It's called the parietal lobe. That same center is used for movement, and that's also where the emotions arise out of. If we use it for movement, we rob the emotions, the negative emotions from that part of the brain. But doing it in the morning is going to set your mind on what it needs to be on. It's going to drive the other habits. Movement slash exercise is one wheel of the bike. We need both wheels. The other wheel is your stuff outside the gym, your fasting, your, your sleep, your, your habits outside the gym. Very important. It's going to help us to focus on that. It's going to get our day off to the right start. It's going to put our mind, right, our focus on, okay, I'm being disciplined today. I want to feel better. This is the path I'm choosing for the day. So walking in the morning, real simple thing. Could just be 10 minutes, like I said. And the last thing, of course, would be fasting. If those other things are in place, if the other things are in place, fasting is the, the prince, I should say. Sleep is the king. Fasting is the prince, right, right behind the king. Fasting will accelerate your body composition change greatly. It's like putting gasoline on the fire when the other stuff is in place. If you just did the other stuff, your body composition is gonna change too. Now, if we really wanna lose fat, if we're in our 40s and, and hormones start to change, right, for men, maybe testosterone is dipping, for women, it could be menopausal, premenopausal, postmenopausal, you know, not postmenopausal necessarily in your early 40s, but this starts to happen. Fasting controls insulin, which is going to dictate many of the other hormones in your body. I've seen it uh, hundreds of times. <clears throat> Fasting is a must if you actually want to change your body composition and lose weight and, and keep it off permanently when you're in your 40s and beyond. The body gets more stubborn, right? The metabolic machinery has downturns basically in the mid 20s, early 30s, mid to late 30s. Okay, for men, it might slide back a few years, but that's what goes on. And that's why with weight loss, these are the things for fat loss that we want to focus on, right? And then we can get into the nitty gritty as far as what we want to do with, uh, you know, if there's any special fat loss protocols as far as exercise or things of that nature. But that would be my take on it if we're talking about four steps for fat loss that you guys can do pretty much right away. Sleep's gonna be a little trickier as far as, it, it, it might not take hold right away, but sleep hygiene. Look at the time that you're getting into the bedroom. Make sure you're getting up consistently at the same time every day. That's what I got for you guys today for four steps for fat loss in your 40s. Keep an eye out for the Fat Shredder contest coming up. Okay, we're gonna have uh, the link being blasted out. That'll be posted everywhere. You guys can sign up for that. It's teams at three. 
let's see what else we got. We got the shoulder seminar coming up, shoulder, wrist, and elbow seminar, how to bulletproof those things. Next Thursday, the 31st, over in Lebanon, New Jersey. That's going to be a great thing, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for your support. Have a great day.